back. I didn't get the error this time. Am I upright? So I just jumped on because Hi, Linda. I think it's all right now. Before I was sideways. Oh, good. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> Technology. It's crazy. All right, we'll get started. Good morning, you guys. Um, welcome to yoga this morning. I thought we would work into a pose called Half Moon today. It's a balancing pose. Um, it looks like this. Don't judge me because I'm not warmed up yet this morning. All right, Boop. like that. So I would suggest if you have yoga blocks, go ahead and have them up by your mat so that you can use them. If you don't have yoga blocks, you can do some other stuff. So if you have a blanket, right, when it comes time to work into half moon, you could take the blanket and make it dense. Something just to place your hand on in case your balance is a little challenged. A rolled up towel or a couple of them. Um, little stools, um, you know, like I have stools for the granddaughter so that they can wash their hands at the sink. You know, you could bring that in and use that for your hands. Again, we gotta get creative with our props, right? All right, so we'll start you guys in an easy seated pose. So coming into Sukhasana or whatever pose works for you this morning for your meditation portion of class. Take your hands on your thigh, close your eyes down. And just take a few cleansing breaths. Allow yourself to sit up nice and tall in your spine. And then flex your feet slightly and spread your toes. So you're just activating in the legs. Just notice that little activation draws all the way up into your legs and into your hips. And then let it go. Flex your feet, spread your toes apart from each other. Feel that activation go all the way through the legs into the hip and then let it go. And just notice the difference between active feet and not active feet. Active feet, hold it here. Draw your belly button in and up. And then lengthen up through your spine, lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Take a few breaths here. Allow your jaw to be relaxed. And every exhale, Allow the jaw to relax even more. Your internal gaze, soften that. So this inward looking. And just physically soft your eyes, soften your eyes. So as we prep for half moon pose, and we'll do that later in class. We want to pay particular attention today, today to our feet. Can't talk today. To our feet and how we're grounding down. We'll pay attention to the belly. Right? Pull your belly button in and up. So you're kind of scooping it 
up, so you're creating support. And then lengthen your spine, so continually creating space between each vertebrae. And in this way, we create groundedness, stability, and lightness. Deepen your breath. Turn on Ujjayi sound. So we create our Ujjayi sound by breathing in and out of your nose. And then you create just a slight restriction of the back of your throat. So it's like the muscles you use to fog up a mirror. And if you want to test that out, just keep your eyes closed, take a deep breath in, open your mouth and take your hand in front of your face and <sighs> feel that restriction in the back of your throat that creates that sound and that action. Keep that action going on in the throat, but just breathe in and out of your nose. Good. Let's take three more breaths. Grounded in our legs, stability from the core, and lightness through the spine. to your heart center and bow your head to your heart. Open your eyes, gaze through your fingertips to the floor. And then as you inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, one more time. Inhale, reach out and up. Interlace your fingers at the top, flip your palms towards the ceiling. Good, so create length here, but draw your shoulder blades down your back. So it's like, again, somebody lifting you up by your rib cage. Lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Good, big breath in. As you exhale, take your hands behind you, but take your arms out to a T first and squeeze your shoulder blades in towards the spine. Spread your fingers wide. Drop the shoulder blades down your back. And then notice what happens here, right? The lower ribs pop out. Pull the lower ribs in, draw the shoulder blades back. Take your hands behind you and interlace your fingers. All right, so the trick is to stay upright as you take the hands back and grasp your hands. So if we do this, right? We're disintegrating, we're cheating a little bit. Draw the belly in, shoulders back. Oh, it takes a little bit of time. Good, take a big breath in here. Exhale, release your hands, stay wide, lifting through the spine, interlace your fingers in front of you, press the palms forward, now round the spine, tuck your chin to your chest, and sit back on your sits bones. Inhale, come back upright, keep your fingers interlaced, draw the lower ribs in, pull the shoulder blades down your back. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one, take your arms out to the side. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Good, now add in your feet. So flex your feet, right? We didn't do that before. Lengthen through the spine. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then take your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Try to do an opposite grasp with your hands, but stay upright. Good, pull the shoulders in. Breathe in, one, two, Three, and exhale, come forward, interlace. Stay tall, just see what I did? I came around it forward. Stay tall, arms out, bring the hands forward, interlace, push forward, and then round. One more round of that, just quicker. Inhale, all the way up, shoulders down as you exhale. Breathe in, so you're active in your feet. 
Exhale, take your arms out, squeeze the shoulder blades together, take your hands back behind you. Breathe in. Exhale, come out, forward, stay upright in the spine, lift the palms forward, and tuck. Nice, sit up tall on your spine. Come to a seated pose. Keep the feet active, so we're not flopping in the feet. Just notice when I flex the feet, I sit up a little bit, if I let it go, there's a dropping in my torso. So we wanna support the weight of our torso throughout all of our practice today so that when we get to half moon, the torso has a lot of support, it's light, and it's not dragging to the floor in half moon. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to your right. Stay nice and lengthen through your spine. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Stay tall, lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Your gaze and your jaw is soft. But your breath work is deep. Inhale, come to center, reach up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, come to center, reach up. Shoulders down, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, staying tall. Inhale, center, reach up. Shoulders down, exhale, twist to the left. Good. And then come to center. Let's just do some torso rolls. Warming up the spine, go in the opposite direction. Good, one more big circle. And then we'll come up to center. Let's come onto our hands and knees. So if you have a blanket, you can put the blanket underneath your knees for support. If not, just come into the pose. Hands are shoulder width apart here. Take your right leg back behind you and just press your heel back. Flex your right foot. Draw your belly button in and up and extend the crown of your head forward as you push the heel back. So imagine that you're pulling, right? You're a rubber band and you're being stretched out. Press the heel back. So your gaze is down to the floor so that you can I create this action where the crown of the head is pulling forward, your heel is pressing back. Draw your belly button in to create that stability in the pose. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Take your right leg down. So this might look like it's not doing much, but you're really actively pressing here, engaging all of your muscles. So left leg goes back, flex your left foot, and push Push your left heel backward. You can feel the muscles of your leg engage. Draw your belly in and up, and then press the crown of your head forward, lengthening the spine. So imagine somebody's pulling on your head and they're pulling on your foot in opposite directions. Good, keep your belly drawn in so you're stabilizing here. Breathe nice and deep, try that ujjayi breath on. Good, and we're staying here active. Press down into your hands for five, four, three, two, one. Take your left knee down. Curl the toes under, lift your hips, come into a downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, drop your heels, press your chest towards the back of the room. Let your gaze come between your, uh, your heels. And then look forward, hop through your hands, onto your tush, and then lay down. So if you have a strap, here's a time to grab a strap and do some leg stretches. So getting all of our, our legs toned up for the work. If you don't, it's not necessary. I'll show you, I'm not gonna do it with a strap today. 
but lay down. Go ahead and take a full body stretch. So reach your arms back behind you, press your heels forward. Again, think lengthening through the spine. Your heels press forward as the head pulls backward towards the wall behind you. And then exhale, hug your right knee into your chest. Hold it here and then pick your head up to meet your knee. Draw your shoulder blades down your back and your feet are flexed. Like, don't let them be floppy here. Flex the foot, draw the belly in. Think of it as a scooping. You're scooping the belly button in and up. Hold it here. Breathe in. Exhale it out. Inhale, full body stretch. Flex your feet, reach your hands back. Exhale, hug your left knee in. Pick your head up to meet your knee. Flex your feet, squeeze your leg muscles in towards their bones. Scoop your belly, draw your shoulders down. Hold it here and breathe nice and deep. That ujjayi sound on. Inhale. Long exhale. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, right knee in, pick your head up. Flow with it. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, right knee in. Now keep going here from side to side on your own breath. Remember your principles. Flex your feet. Activate your legs. Scoop the belly button in and up. Try to keep your spine long. Shoulders down. If it hurts your neck to pick your head up to meet your knee, just keep your head on the ground. Right? It doesn't have to. One more time, side to side. Take a full body stretch as you inhale. Get long, press your heels forward, draw the crown of your head back behind you, and then exhale, hug both of your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Let everything relax here. You can let go of your feet. Good. And then take your feet down to the floor, knees up. Extend your left leg forward. If that's okay for your lower back, if not, you keep that left foot on the ground. And then hug your right knee in towards your chest. This left leg is super active, so flex the feet and squeeze the muscles in. And then press your right heel up towards the ceiling. So if you have a strap, you're gonna take a strap around the center of your foot. Otherwise, you just hang on to the back of your leg. Press your right heel up. Pull the toes down. You're gonna feel an activation here in the calf. Nice stretch. Keep your belly button drawn in and your shoulders down. Good, stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now turn your right toes out to the right side of the room so there's an external rotation happening in your thigh bone. If you have the strap, take the straps just into your right hand and extend your right leg out to the side. If not, you can just support your leg with your right hand. Now push out with your heel, turning the toes down towards the floor as much as you can, and then keep this left leg active so it's an anchor. Draw your belly button in so you're stabilizing, and then lengthen the spine. I know you're lying on your spine, but lengthen it. Good, and breathe. So if you took your left arm out to the side, this is really the shape of half moon. Imagine that your right leg, the one that's extended out to the side, is what's standing on the floor. Your left leg is suspended in air. Left arm is reaching up towards the ceiling. And your gaze can be just where it is at the ceiling or maybe up towards your hand. And as you inhale, 
inhale, bring your right leg up, hug your knee into your chest, and then twist. Twist over to the left. Reach your right arm out to the side. Take that twist all throughout the side body. Two more breaths here in your twist. Inhale, full body stretch. Just go to the other side. Exhale, hug your left knee into your chest. Right leg can be on the floor. Make sure it's active. You're flexing your foot or foot on the floor, knee up, whatever's better for your lower back. Take your left leg up towards the ceiling, so straightening the leg. Strap goes around the center of the foot, or you just hold behind your leg. Press your left heel up, Ooh, feel that good stretch, and then pull your toes down towards your shin. You're gonna increase that sensation, so be mindful. If it's painful, back out. But if you just know that your leg is waking up this morning and saying, hello, hamstrings, you're good. Breathe your way through it. Spread your toes apart from each other. Nice breath. Remember your other areas, so stabilize. Draw your belly button in and up, so you're creating that scoop. Lengthen your spine. Give your leg a little pull towards your chest. Resist some with your leg. Right, increasing the activity. Let's take two more breaths here. Don't let that right leg get lazy. Push down into your heel. And now as you exhale, take the left leg out to the side. So you're, if you have a strap, you take the straps just into your left hand and take it out where you're supporting the left leg. Push out through the left heel. Actually, come back up, you guys, I forgot. Turn the toes out to the side, right, to the left side. So you're creating that external rotation in the thigh. Then take your leg out. Good. Try to turn your toes down towards the floor. As you press out through the heel, keep the belly button engaged and the right leg engaged. So we're trying to keep this left leg active as the right hip stays grounded down. Good, nice stretch here of the inner left thigh. Keep pressing out through your heel. Keep here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep pressing, 3, 2, 1. As you inhale, take the left leg up, exhale, hug your knee into your chest, and then take it into a twist across your body. So left shin goes to the right side of the room, left arm goes out to the left. Let yourself breathe deep. Turn on that ujjayi sound. A few more breaths here. Taking a little break. Inhale, come up into a full body stretch. Exhale, hug your knees in. And then grab behind your thighs. Let's rock and roll up and down the length of our spine a few times. Play around with it. Rocking back and forth. But if this doesn't work for your back or your neck, we'll come back up onto a hands and knees position. Eventually, we're going to come up. Let's go, downward facing dog. So really plant into your hands, 
Let your heels drop. And we're going to actively push down into your feet. Let the heels drop down and push your chest towards your thighs. Let your head drop, shake it out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And one more breath. And exhale. Hold your breath at the bottom. Look forward, bend your knees. You can hop or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, take your feet back into a high plank. Shift forward on your toes. Bring your knees down if you need to or want to. Extend the spine long. All right, so if you're on your knees, you're pushing into your knees, draw the belly in, lift the crown of your head up. So you're creating that angle. If your legs are straight, push your heels back, belly in, pull the crown of your head forward, shift forward on the toes, bend your elbows, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, come onto the tops of your feet and lift your chest. Downward facing dog, go back. Good, breathe in, and breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Look forward, and then hop or step to the front of your mat. Try to be light. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a breath in, breath out, and then inhale, sweep it back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, feet back, high plank. Fire everything up, shift forward on the toes. You can bring your knees down here, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Come into a high plank. Hold it. Take your right leg out to the side. Plant the foot. Stretch it. So you're going to drop your left hip down. I know it's weird, right? Felt like my inner thigh just needed a deeper stretch. Push into your foot. Drop the left hip. Keep the belly in and up so you're not stressing out your back. Come back up. Take the right leg back. Downward facing dog. Come out to a high plank. Take your left leg out to the side. Plant your foot. Drop your right hip down, but don't let the belly be soft. Pull the belly in and up. And then deepening your stretch of the left leg. Inhale, come up. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Take a long breath out. Look forward, step your right foot forward, take the left knee down, coming into lizard pose. We did this last week, right? So last week's hips series was a good prep for half moon. So here we're just going to bend our elbows, try to sink into our right hip joint. You can take a block or a blanket to support you. Keep your right leg connected with your right arm and pull your chest forward, right? So good practice here to pull the chest forward, lengthen the spine. Think about the crown of your head lifting whoop, up slightly while keeping your right leg and your right arm connected. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Plant into your hands, your block off to the side. Go back to downward facing dog. Press your chest towards your thighs. Look forward, step your left foot forward, hands to the inside of your left leg. Good spot for your block to come back. And then bend your elbows, maybe you come down on your forearms. Left leg, left arm connected. 
pull your chest forward. You're gonna increase the stretch here of your right leg. And pulling the chest, crown of your head, drawing forward and up slightly. Deepen your breath. Deepen into your left hip. And then stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Press into your hands, lift up, downward facing dog, go back. Big breath in here, long breath out. Look forward, hop or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. All right, you guys. So we're gonna transition. I'm gonna turn this to the side just so you get a better view. Views are tricky on the iPhone. We'll work into some um, moves for our legs. So everybody take a wide stance here on your mat, facing forward, facing the camera. Draw your belly in and up, and then let your tailbone drop. Press into the outer edges of your feet, hands on your hips. And I want you to lengthen up through your spine. So imagine there's a hook at the top of your head, there's a rope connected to it, somebody's above you, and they're pulling you up. Your feet are grounded. All right. Stabilize in the belly, pull the belly in, but lengthen through the spine. Beautiful. And then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Like that's the last little bit. It's like the cherry on top. Good. Now turn your right toes forward. All right. And lift and spread your toes. Press down into your feet nice and strong. Bend into your front knee about 90 degrees. Come into warrior two. Dry, pressing into the feet, drawing the inner thigh muscles in and up. You'll see I lift up a little bit. Take that, stay tall in the spine, bend into your front knee. Look out over your right hand, shoulder blades move down your back. Straighten your right leg, turn your right toes back to forward, left toes. Turn forward, going towards the back of your mat. Bend into your front knee, warrior two on this side. Gazing out over your left hand. Draw the belly in, tailbone will drop. Sink a little deeper into your pose. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. It's not a big squeeze, but it's just a little subtle squeezing in. Saying that your tall, tall spine can lift higher. Good, straighten your left leg, turn the toes back in, hands on your hips. Reset, press into the outer edges of your feet, belly draws in and up, lengthen your spine, hands to your hips. Turn your right toes to the front of your mat, sink into warrior two. And now straighten the front leg. So lift and spread your toes on both feet. Get into your feet. Press down. And then straighten your front leg, coming into triangle pose. I'm going to you to pull this right hip back as you reach forward. Now I want you to keep your torso out over your front leg as much as you can as you reach out. Take your right hand down, left hand comes up. Now here's where a block or a folded up blanket will come in handy to bring the floor up to you, right? So if you take your hand all the way down to the floor and your torso comes forward to the center of your mat, try using a block underneath that hand so that you can pull this right hip back, draw the spine long, crown of your head reaches forward and keep your torso over your front leg. And then you can lift your top hand if you don't have a lock, take the back of your hand, put it into your inner calf, push with your hand, 
and then resist a little bit with your leg, that'll help you open up. So you should be feeling a stretch here, but not stress in there in your, in your knee. So if you are, give a little bend in your knee and then turn your hip, this right hip, towards the back of your mat. See how it kind of hinges me backwards? Good. Breathe here for five, four, three, two, one. Come into warrior two. Take your right hand down, left arm up and over, extended side angle. Notice if your lower ribs here are creating a rainbow shape. Pull the outer right hip back. Turn the torso up and try to extend the spine, the rib cage long. Good, come up. Warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Turn the toes in. Good, so we're taking a wide-legged stance again. Feet, press into them. Draw your belly in. Lengthen up through your spine. Turn your left toes forward. And then bend into your front knee. Warrior two on the left side. Pressing into your feet equally and strong. Deepen your breath. Bring back this um, image of the hook and you're lifting up the crown of your head. Straighten your left leg. Turn this left hip, it's like out and back. And so this right hip kind of sticks out a little bit with some attitude and then take your left hand out, reaching, reaching, reaching until you can't go any further. Left hand down, right arm up into triangle pose. Again, using a block so that you can keep the torso out over the front leg. Like, don't let this happen. Try. You could be a little higher. Right, and one side might be different than the other. So just check into what support the left side needs versus the right. Give a little bend in your left knee so you're not stressing the knee out. You wanna feel a stretch of your inner left thigh you don't want to feel pain or instability. Deepen your breath here. One more breath in. Long breath out. Come back up. Warrior two. Bend your front knee. Stabilize your feet. Extended side angle, take the left forearm down, right arm up over your head, fingertips shooting out to the side wall. Press into the outer edge of your right foot, bend into your front knee 90 degrees. Try to keep that torso, right? keep your torso out over the leg. And pull this hip back, so we're trying to avoid this rounding of the lower ribs, right? No rainbow, keep it straight, and then reach. So this is where you have to be active in all of your muscles. If you want to test it out, take your arms out like you're holding a beach ball. Keep that activity as you take the arm down. Ooh, that's hard, right? Good, come up. Warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Turn your toes in. <sighs> Reset. Feet stable. Belly in. Lengthen the spine. Hands on your hips. And then we'll come into a forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. Keep your hands on your hips if your balance is good here. I want you to get into your legs. Push into your feet. Squeeze the leg muscles, especially your inner thigh muscles. Pull them in and up towards your pelvis. And then let your head drop. If you need to take a hand down, do that. If you need both hands down, do that as well but make sure your legs are doing most of the work. Keep your belly scooping up so you're creating stability. Let your head now drop to the floor, creating length, creating fluidity in the spine. And now bring your hands down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, whew, rise all the way up. Heel toe your feet together. And then shake it out. A lot of work there for our legs, right? So you notice when you do this um, wide-legged forward fold, you get a nice stretch of your outer ankle, especially if you are actively pressing into the outer edge of your foot. And we don't often do that, so it's a good, good thing to do. All right, tree pose. Let's come into um, something a little quieter, and then we'll go into our half moon. So your right foot can be toes on the floor, heel resting to your shin, foot to your shin, or your foot to your thigh. Choose where you're going today. Draw your belly in. Press down into your standing foot, so let's build it from the floor up. Push into your standing foot, squeeze the leg muscles in, push your foot and your leg together, draw your belly in, lift the crown of your head as you lift your arms up. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one, bring your hands to your heart center and switch sides, shake it up. Right foot grounds down, left foot comes in. So it could be foot um, to the shin, right? Toes on the ground, foot all the way into the shin or foot to the thigh. Build your pose from the ground up, press into your feet, push the foot and the leg together, squeeze the right leg muscles, draw your belly in, extend the spine long. So lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, bring that image back. Grow your tree, staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Take your hands down, release it, shake it up. Okay, let's go to half moon. Here's where you can use a block or not, you don't have to. Use, a, use anything you have if you need a little bit more stability here. But take your right foot forward. We'll come into extended side angle. Remember to pull this outer right hip back. So this is creating a little external rotation of the thigh, which I had you do when we were on our backs and we did some leg stretches. All right, I had you turn the toes out and then take the leg out. Same thing's happening here, but now the foot is just stable on the ground. Pull that hip back. Come into your extended side angle. Keep the torso out over this right leg. Feel your lower rib cage pulling up and outward to take out any rainbow shape. I mean, I like rainbows, but not in this. And look down, and then step your back foot up. Create stability and pull your rib cage forward. Take your right hand down, left leg goes up. Pay attention to your bottom foot. So that should be facing 12 o'clock. Notice the lifted leg, so your left leg here, flex the foot. Stabilize by pulling your belly button in and up. And then lengthen your spine. Let's see if you can turn your torso all the way to the left. And lift your top hand. Now if you need a little bit of space, take your block or stool or blankets, whatever you're choosing, and then put your fingers here on the block and lift. All right, so you can see it'll give you a little bit of space. Maybe it's easier to turn this way. If you're close to the wall, you could use the wall. You're changing the angle of the bottom arm, but you know, do what you need to do. If you have, you know, really good wall space behind you, I'll show you this, because I have it. Take a peek, block comes down. Ooh, watch your plants. Knew that was gonna happen. Hi babies. Good, back against the wall, arms up. All right, so if you have a wall, you can put your whole back against the wall to do that. All right, come down if you, haven't come down yet from your half moon on the right side. And we'll go to the other side. So take your block with you. 
Left foot forward, right foot back into your half moon. Oh, sorry, extended side angle. Pull the bottom rib cage up and forward. Right. No rainbow, no rainbow zone. Breathe in. Exhale, look down. Take your back foot up halfway and then take your left hand down to the block or the floor. And as you lift your right leg, push down into your left foot. Squeeze the leg muscles into the bone. Maybe give a little bend in your left knee so you've got some um, floating action here and you're not stuck. Turn your chest forward, top leg squeezing in. That's creating grounding as well. Belly button pulls in towards the spine, create stability. Right arm, reach it up towards the ceiling. Maybe your gaze can go up. And if you want to use the wall, use the wall. Don't want to use the block, don't use a block. Good, a couple more breaths if you can. Otherwise, you'll come down. Maybe take a drink of water. A lot of work for your standing leg, right? So make sure you guys, the standing leg, we're gonna do this one more time. You're pushing down. Don't lock out the standing knee though, right? If we lock it out and then we get a little wobbly, there's no flexibility in our pose, right? It's rigid. So just a tiny micro bend. So if you start to wobble, right, I can work with that a little bit more. I'm gonna use a block. Use it if you got it, if you want to. And we'll just go into it. So instead of getting all fancy with um, extended side angle, running out of time, so just get into your pose. Press down into your right foot. Little micro bend in the right knee, but then squeeze all the muscles of your right leg. Draw your belly button towards your spine, scoop it up. Top leg, strong, squeezing those muscles in as well. I might turn my block up on a different height. I feel like I need a little bit more height. Good, left arm up. You can stay here or bend your left knee. I might disintegrate the pose a little bit. I'm gonna take my chest forward. Left hand grabs the left foot. I'm gonna open up with a bind. Now my gaze can be down to the floor or to the side. See where we're comfortable here. Maybe up. Ooh, throws my equilibrium off a little bit. It's okay. Good. Take a breath or two, wherever you're at. And then take it down. Coming to a standing position. Go to the other side. So left foot forward. Half moon on standing left leg. Watch out for that bottom foot. It wants to turn in or out. Keep your foot at 12 o'clock. Press down into your standing foot. Micro bend the left knee. Squeeze all the leg muscles. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Scoop it up. Top leg, active. Flex your foot. Lift your top hand. Now squeeze your shoulder blades together and draw the spine long. Especially if you're gonna grab your foot. Bend your right knee, grab your right foot with the right hand. Spine reaches, woo. <sighs> Some days balance is better than others, you guys. All right, we can stay in half moon. Or take the bind. Play around with it. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and extend your spine long. Couple more breaths. And then take your 
yourself down. <sighs> Good work, you guys. Let's come back down onto our mat. It's time to cool it down. <sighs> nice work. I couldn't see you, but I know you did great work. Flex your feet. A little bend in your knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Pull your right knee in. Ground down into your sits bones. Lengthen up through your spine and then twist to your right. Come to center and switch sides. Left foot in. Grab onto your knees, sit up tall. Flex your right foot and twist. back to center come on to your back so feet on the floor knees up here take your right foot on top of your left thigh and then grab behind your left thigh pull it towards you nice stretch of your outer right hip flex your feet spread your toes apart from each other feel a nice stretch of your legs legs and your hips and belly did a lot of work today stabilizing you to create half moon to create that flight give them some love Go ahead and switch sides left foot on top of the right thigh right behind your right thigh bring it towards you flex your feet Slow down. Bring your feet down to the floor, knees up. Take your feet wide on your mat and then just windshield wiper your knees back and forth. Go slow, it doesn't have to be speedy. center. Take the soles of your feet together, knees open wide for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Close your eyes. And allow your muscles to relax. If the hips need support here in the knees, take blankets or your blocks and put them underneath the thighs. Sometimes this stretch is a little too much for the hips, especially if you have something like bursitis in the hip. This open knee posture is going to be a little difficult, so support it. Take one more breath in Supta Baddha Konasana. And then as you exhale, bring your knees together, hug your knees into your chest. And rock from side to side, or this is the opportunity to do another pose that maybe you wanted to add in. Do a happy baby, Vivariti Karani, where you just extend the legs up. And we just stay here rocking back and forth. 
massaging your lower back. Take your knees, make circles with your knees. Go in the opposite direction. back in. And let's go to Shavasana. Extend your legs forward. Arms, palms up. Close your eyes. Relax and take this time for yourself. Allow your pelvis to be really heavy. Your feet can just flop out to the side. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Let your chest be open again. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, side out. Breathe in through the nose. Side out. And then relax. slowly you begin to deepen your breath. And begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And rotate your ankles and your wrists. Take your feet to the floor, knees up, roll to your side, whichever side feels most natural. Take a breath and then bring yourself up to a seated pose. Eyes are closed. Bring your hands together over your heart and bow your head to your heart. Sit up tall in your spine. Thank you for sharing this practice with me today. Together we say, Namaste. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. <sighs> Thank you for practicing with me. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you next week. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Hi, Erin or Carmen. Love you guys. Bye.